The Green Bay Packers, a franchise deeply ingrained in NFL history, is a beacon of hope and triumph. But as we approach the 2024 season, whispers of doubt circulate through the fan base and analysts alike. Expectations were sky high after a remarkable 2023 season, fueled by Jordan Love's emergence and a team that seemed poised for greatness. However, behind the curtain of optimism lies the unsettling possibility that the Packers could be one of the NFL's biggest disappointments this season. The running game faces uncertainty, the defense is under new leadership with no guarantees, and the special teams, well, they have been a notorious Achilles heel. What if things go wrong? Are the Packers truly ready to make the leap, or will their flaws send them crashing back to earth? Let's break it down in this storytelling journey, hope, fear, football destiny. Don't forget to comment below with your predictions, leave a like if you're enjoying the discussion, and hit that subscribe button for more Packers news. The 2024 season arrives with enormous expectations for the Green Bay Packers. After a surprising run in 2023, including a playoff appearance that showcased Jordan Love's rise as a starting quarterback, Optimism reigns over Lambeau Field. But is it all too much too soon? Last year's success was undoubtedly exhilarating. The Packers not only outperformed their predictions but did so with style. The offense, under Jordan Love, was dynamic and the defense, while flawed, held its own when it mattered most. Fans started dreaming of a return to the Super Bowl with hopes that Love would lead them there. But every silver lining comes with a cloud and the Packers' bros hat 2023 flaws may be even more glaring in 2024. The pressure now is immense. For every team coming off a season like the Packers had, there is an equally strong undercurrent of fear. Could the expectations set by last season lead to their downfall? There are real concerns. An inconsistent defense, questions surrounding the run game, and a special teams unit that has struggled for years. Will this season be a magical ride or a nightmare of unfulfilled potential? Jordan Love stepped into the spotlight in 2023 and delivered one of the most surprising performances of the year. Once considered the heir apparent to Aaron Rodgers, Love's development was slow, but it finally culminated in a season that gave Packers fans hope, future. However, as we head into 2024, doubts begin to creep in. Love's late-season surge in 2023 was heavily tied to the success of the Packers' running game. Aaron Jones, in particular, was a game-changer, rushing for over 100 yards in three of the Packers' most critical games. With defenses forced to respect the run, Love thrived in play-action situations, posting near-perfect passer ratings. But here's the looming question. And Love maintain that level of performance if the running game falters? Without a reliable ground attack, defenses will focus more on Love, daring him to beat them through the air. The pressure on Love will be immense. Will he rise to the occasion? Or will the weight of expectations reveal the cracks in his development? The Packers' season may very well hinge on the answer to this question. One of the key storylines for the Packers heading into 2024 is the addition of Josh Jacobs, a former rushing champion who joins Green Bay in hopes of rejuvenating his career. Jacobs had a rough 2023 season, with his numbers dropping significantly, compared to his stellar 2022 campaign. But the Packers are betting on him to be the spark they need in the backfield. At his best, Jacobs is a nightmare for opposing defenses. His ability to break tackles and grind out tough yards makes him a valuable asset. But questions remain about his durability, and whether he can bounce back after a disappointing year. In 2023, Jacobs ranked near the bottom of the league in yards per carry and yards after contact, raising concerns that his best days might be behind him. If Jacobs can't return to form, the Packers' offense could struggle to find balance. Pressure on Jordan Love would intensify, and the offense could become one-dimensional. On the other hand, Jacobs can regain his form Packers' offense could be one of the most dangerous in the NFL. It's a gamble that could define their season. Packers' defense has long been a point of frustration for fans. Despite boasting several high draft picks and expensive veterans, the unit has struggled to perform consistently. Enter Jeff Halfley, the new defensive coordinator brought in to change the narrative. But is he the right man to turn this defense around? 
Halfley is a bit of an enigma. He's highly regarded for his work at Boston College, but his track record at the NFL level is unproven. He has brought a more aggressive scheme to Green Bay, one that allows the defensive front to attack more freely and the secondary to play more aggressively. Players like Kenny Clark and Jairi Alexander have embraced the new system, but the true test will come when the games begin. Can Halfley's scheme withstand the rigors of an NFL season? Will the Packers' defense rise to the occasion or crumble under the weight of expectations? Halfley's ability to make in-game adjustments and put his players in a position to succeed will be crucial. If the defense falters, it could be the Packers' undoing. Special teams often fly under the radar, but they play a crucial role in the outcome of games. For the Packers, this phase of the game has been a persistent weakness. In 2023, their special teams unit ranked near the bottom of the league, and costly mistakes contributed to their playoff elimination. Can they fix these issues in 2024? The Packers made changes at kicker. Moving on from Anders Carlson, after a string of missed field goals and extra points in critical moments. They've pinned their hopes on Braden Narvison, a rookie with a big leg but little experience. It's a risky move that could pay off or backfire spectacularly. Special teams coordinator Rich Basasha is under pressure to improve the unit's performance. The Packers have been penalized far too often on special teams, and their inability to consistently flip field position has hurt them in close games. These issues aren't addressed, the special teams could once again be a weak link that holds the Packers back. The arrival of Josh Jacobs in Green Bay has sparked both excitement and concern. Jacobs is a proven talent, but his decline in 2023 has left many wondering if he can return to his all-pro form. For the Packers, Jacobs represents hope, but also a huge gamble. Jacobs' career in Oakland and Las Vegas was filled with highlights. He was a workhorse, capable of carrying the load and making defenders miss. However, the wear and tear of years in the NFL may have caught up with him. After over 1,500 touches in just five seasons, Jacobs struggled in 2023, and his production fell off a cliff. Can Jacobs bounce back? He'll be running behind a better offensive line than he had in Las Vegas, and with Jordan Love keeping defenses honest, he should have opportunities. However, Jacobs can't deliver, Packers' offense could sputter, leaving Love with the impossible task, carrying the team on his own. Jeff Halfley has inherited a talented defense, but talent alone isn't enough. Packers have spent significant resources building their defense, with several first-round picks and high-priced free agents. But despite this investment, the unit has underperformed. Halfley's challenge is to get the most out of this group and turn potential into production. One of the key areas Halfley is focusing on is the defensive line. Players like Kenny Clark and Roshan Gary have the ability to dominate, but they haven't always been consistent. Halfley's scheme is designed to let them attack more, but it remains to be seen if that will translate into more sacks and pressures. The secondary is another area of focus. Jairi Alexander is one of the best cornerbacks in the league, but the Packers need more from the rest of the group. Halfley has implemented a more aggressive style, but with aggression comes risk. Will the Packers be able to force more turnovers, or will they give up big plays in the process? It's often said that games are won and lost in the margins, and for the Packers, those margins have been razor thin on special team. In 2023, missed kicks, penalties, and poor coverage all contributed to a disappointing end to the season. Heading into 2024, Packers are determined to avoid another special team's meltdown. Can they? The decision to move on from kicker Anders Carlson was a difficult one. Carlson had a powerful leg, but his inconsistency was maddening. His replacement, Braden Narvison, brings similar strengths and weaknesses. He has the potential to be a game changer, but he's unproven at the NFL level. One or two key misses could derail the Packers season. Return specialist Keezen Nixon is another player to watch. Nixon flashed brilliance at times in 2023, but the new kickoff rules may limit his opportunity. The Packers are hoping he can still be a difference maker. The odds are stacked against him. Special teams coordinator Rich Basacha must find a way to get the most out of this unit, or the Packers could once again find themselves undone by their own mistakes. 
In the NFL, coaching is often the difference between success and failure. For the Packers, the 2024 season will be a test of the coaching staff's ability to adapt and make adjustments. Matt LaFleur has been a steady presence on the sidelines, but with a young quarterback and a defense in transition, his leadership will be more important than ever. LaFleur's offensive scheme has been tailored to Jordan Love's strengths, but opposing defenses will adjust. Question is, can LaFleur stay one step ahead? 2023, the Packers bat offense was at its best when the running game was clicking. If the ground attack struggles, LaFleur will need to find new ways to move the ball and keep defenses guessing. Defensively, Jeff Halfley is the wild card. His aggressive scheme could pay off in a big way, but it could also backfire if the Packers' defenders aren't disciplined. Halfley's ability to make in-game adjustments will be crucial, especially against high-powered offense. If the coaching staff can push the right buttons, Packers have the talent to compete with anyone. But if they falter, the season could slip away. As the 2024 season looms, the Green Bay Packers find themselves at a crossroads. After a surprising 2023 season that reignited hopes of a Super Bowl run, pressure is on to deliver. But with question marks surrounding the running game, a new defensive coordinator and a special teams unit that has struggled for years, the path to success is far from guaranteed. The Packers have the talent to be contenders. Jordan Love showed flashes of brilliance last season, and if Josh Jacobs can return to form, the offense could be one of the best in the league. Defensively, Jeff Halfley's aggressive scheme could unlock the potential of a unit loaded with talent. For every reason to believe, there's a reason to worry. Will the Packers rise to the occasion, or will their flaws be exposed? Only time will tell. But one thing is certain, this season will be a roller coaster ride filled with highs, lows, and plenty of drama. Packers fans, buckle up. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the Packers' 2024 outlook, don't forget to hit the like button, leave a comment with your thoughts and predictions, and 